The question says that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral whose diagonals intersect at point E. So what we need to do is to draw a circle so as to make a cyclic quadrilateral. So here I have drawn a circle and uh, in order to draw a quadrilateral, I'll take any four points and join them so as to obtain a cyclic quadrilateral. Say for example, I'm joining these four points to get a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, is any quadrilateral, not any trapezium or parallelogram, etc. And it's diagonal. The diagonal is AC and BD. So, for example, if I join this AC, this is AC. And the other diagonal here is BD. So, we'll be joining BD as well. I've joined AC and BD. Now, the point of intersection of this diagonal is mentioned as E. What else we are given is given that angle DBC is 70 degree. That means we have this angle DBC. That means this angle is 70 degree. And angle BAC is 30 degree. This is BAC is this. BAC is this given as 30 degree. What we have to determine in the first part is to get angle BCD. So this angle BCD, this angle we have to determine. For that, we are going to use this property that two angles on the same segment are equal. That means these two angles will be equal because they are on the same segment, right? As you can see, they are on the same segment. So these angles are equal. Now, similarly, as you can see in this figure, this angle as well as this angle are on the same segment and they are subtended by this arc, same arc BC. So we can say that using angle in the same segment, I can write this angle as 30 degree. Now further, you know that you have to determine an angle of a, this triangle, this triangle BCD and you know one of its angle and what is it? You know two of its is angle that is in this triangle, one is 70, the second is 30, and the third is what we have to get, that is angle BCD. You know, some of these three angles is 180 degree by angle sum property. So angle BCD will be equal to 180 minus some of these two, that is 100. So therefore angle BCD will come as 80 degree. So this is done. We got this angle as 80 degree. Now, in the later part, what they are saying, they say in the next part, they say that uh, the length of AB is equal to BC, right? What we know in a triangle, if two sides are equal, then the angles opposite to these two sides are equal. So let's uh, consider the triangle. We are talking about this triangle. As you can clearly see, this is triangle ABC. And in this triangle, we know that two of its sides, that is AB, this AB is equal to BC. We know that when two sides are equal, then their opposite angle, angles opposite to these sides. That means angles opposite to this angle uh, side, that is AB is angle BCA, and the angle opposite to this side is ABAC. So we can say these two angles, that means we'll get this angle will be equal to this angle. As we can see here, that this angle will also be 30 degree. By that I mean to say, let me mark this angle properly. So we know these two angles as equal, which is 30. Now, according to question, what we have to find out is angle ECD. ECD is this angle, this angle ECD. In this first part, we have calculated this angle BCD, this whole angle. We have calculated and we got at 80. And now I got this angle that is angle B, C, A as 30 degree. Now what we can see that this part or this angle that is angle E, C, D can be obtained by subtracting these two, right? Because this hole is this hole. That means from here till here is 80 degree. And from here to here is 30 degree. So we can say that this angle ECD will be 
80 minus 30 and that is equal to 50 degree. So this is what we have to determine in the second part. So ECD we got as 50 degree.